Today we are going to talk about this beauty here and this beauty is the Kong Wobbler. It's a very, I would say, classic toy, like loads of people have already used it and I thought I would give my honest opinion about the Kong Wobbler. Hello beautiful dog people and welcome back to the channel or if this is your first time here my name is Stephanie, I'm a dog trainer and a dog mom to four beautiful rescue dogs. All of them are medium to large size and we are going to review different toys and today it's this one's turn. So what is the Kong Wobbler? The Kong Wobbler is basically a slow feeder or like an enrichment toy where you pop in food and you can easily open this. So this is really great about the, the Kong because you can simply, you know, unscrew it, add your food in here and then basically screw it back on you want to do this properly, screw it back on and you're done, right? And then the dog would have to push it around and basically let the food fall out of this one. So I'll show you what it does is it just basically bounces, so it basically moves around and it basically springs back into place, like it does here, and then the food comes out. So it has a weight on the bottom and then the food should fall out. So the Kong Wobbler does come in two different sizes. This is the large size because I have large dogs and it comes in a small size. So the large size is recommended for dogs or for breeds that are medium to a large size and then the small one is obviously recommended for small dogs. So the sizing of this one here is, and I've wrote it down for you, so the height is 6 inches in the small one and then the width is 4.25 inches and the large one this one here is 7.5 and then you have this side 5.25 so they are relatively big they are way bigger than a normal kong and they are obviously a very different toy they have the classical kong shape though i must say we have not used like we have this forever but we have not really used it as much so it says on the kong web page that it's designed to keep the dog moving because it obviously you know, has like the movement and it falls and bounces back and then the dog basically moves around with their nose, push it, find the kibble, etc. So you would only use this for dry food treats, etc. It's not made to be licked out of the hole. It's made in the USA it's from the Kong company, so it's obviously a very well-known brand. And it is dishwasher safe is what they said. I've never popped it in a dishwasher because it's very easy to clean. Um, so you can see, it. you know, it's very easy to clean. You just can basically... Um, do it by hand and just wipe it out So the easiness to clean is a big bonus point from me However, one of the really minus points I have to say is that this is really really loud And this is one of the main reasons why I don't really like using it It's also really big and quite solid so depending on what kind of dog you have Chucky loves this dog toy and Chucky is my deaf dog so he can't hear how loud it is and we have mainly wooden floors so <laughs> it is really loud and also he at the beginning when he was quite young and we tried this out he um, was a bit impatient and he would just like throw it around and um, yeah I mean it could potentially do some damage to your furniture so we have for example a glass vitrine so yes this is for me one point where I'd be like, not too keen. I can imagine this is really nice outside. So if you have a garden, you just pop it out outside. And the other thing I did, I just popped it on a dog bed. So um, we have this dog bed and I blend in a video so you can see it, where he played with this on his dog bed and it was very calm. It was kind of contained and this made it so much more enjoyable for me too. But yeah, he loved this toy, so I guess we should probably be using this way more often. I haven't tried this yet with the other dogs. Rambo has used it my senior. Um, and I must say though he was, so I got him when he was six years old and he was not really experienced with anything in Richmond and he didn't really get the concept right away. So one thing I would say though, this is quite a heavy toy, right? And what happened to him is like, it's kind of like bounced back into place like this and it hit his head. So he was a bit put off. So, yes, I think it's maybe a toy that is um, very often, like, it's super popular with a lot of dogs. My dogs are all rescue dogs, so especially the wadi dogs who are not used to toys, who are even scared of balls. If you throw a ball, these are street dogs, so they're not used to playing with humans, they're not used to tugging, 
They are quite highly anxious very often, especially when they arrive. And I'd assume this would be for a lot of other rescue dogs too, quite sensitive with noise. So we will use this because I think it might be quite nice to desensitize them a bit towards noise in a fun way. However, I will give him more time to decompress first. So when he reviews this, I will upload the video. Um, it's just something I want to put out there because I think often, you know, if you have a puppy and you have a happy-go-lucky puppy who has never experienced anything bad, for them, they probably would not even think about things like this. But if you have a rescue dog, things like the loudness, the moving back, um, it can be quite a challenge for a rescue who is generally not used to these things, who is maybe a bit more cautious, who is really anxious, etc. So just something to keep in mind when you use this toy or when you introduce this toy to your dog. So regard price, I checked the Amazon web pages. So this was priced on Amazon for $19.99 US dollars and about $16.48 for GBP, so Great British Pounds. So $16.48, like I would say like 20 quid, maybe a bit less, 15 to 20 quid, which I think is an okay price for this toy because it's you know, it's a big toy, it's solid, it's a good toy, so the price I would, you know, it's fine for me, I wouldn't think about it, and the small ones would be um, cheaper, obviously. Then it's Kong, it's on Amazon, so availability is good too, so you will get it in a lot of countries. As I said, it's a Kong company brand, so it's a big brand, it is global, and it's on Amazon, so it should be easy to get. Um, you can get it also with like various other retailers in the UK or wherever you are. Let's talk quality. So I said that we have not been using this a lot and I show you what it looks like. So you can see there is very very clear signs of usage on our Kong Wobbler and this is very normal because obviously if depending on where you play with it, if they play with it on outside or on a harder floor then it will get usage. Um, you can see also none of my dogs has chewed it so I have no chewers um, so this is not that they chewed it off, it's just normal signs of usage. Um, it's still good to go, it's not broken or anything, but it does have very clear signs of usage and you can see exactly it's on the edges where the toy would basically rub along the floor. Also I know that if you have a dog who is power chewer, so this could be an ex a bully puppy or just any bully breed, basically for them, I have seen them being chewed through, so this is can show you it's quite thin so this is not um, yeah very difficult to chew through and if they really want to go to town with it they can yeah so it's not like the most durable toy um, so I would make sure you introduce this properly to your dog you introduce them to how to use it properly and if they start chewing you want to redirect them to something else so they get the hang of it and they don't chew it so for mine this has never been an issue because for them, the value is very clearly in the food that falls out of it. So for them, all of our enrichment toys honestly are not chewy toys. So yes, for us, it's not an issue. But if you have a chewer, you do want to introduce this properly. Um, the moment they, they start to chew, redirect them gently and then try again. Maybe the same day or maybe another day. Durability is alright. But yeah, be just a bit careful and introduce the toy properly. That's it from me for today. And I would be really keen to hear your opinions about the Kong Wobbler and how you like it, how your dog likes it and what kind of dog you have. 